pasted layer. Okay, um, let me go back to this uh, gradient tool with whites. See, I don't know why I lumped that together. It really annoys me. Uh, hmm. What am I going to do about that? Uh, let's see if we can move it down here. Why can't I do that either? Uh, whatever. Merge down. <laughs> if all else fails, merge down. Highlight just that. Cut it out. And paste it up here as a new layer. I'm going to right click on that layer, add a layer mask, say white full opacity, and then I'm going to go to the gradient tool, choose black, I think is the what I need to do. Yeah. And then you kind of have to judge for yourself how you want it to fade into the uh, the right side up part of it. And I want to apply that layer mask. Sorry if I'm going too fast here for some of you guys. Okay, Numbs Bakery. Uh, okay, that's pretty basic. But let's just see how it works out. I mean, let's. I need to fill this. <laughs> uh, white, go back to white. Fill with white. Okay. Let's just see how that works out. I'm going to save as a, uh, let's call it background.png. PNGs are just like, uh, you know, like what you would save a paint file as it would be a PNG save it to my desktop so I can find it easily. I want to merge my visible layers, which were like the two. Uh, I don't really about I don't, don't really worry about that. Just hit save. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go to the site appearance back where I was on my Google site. Go to colors and fonts. Colors and fonts are right here. Uh wrapper background image I don't choose background image because that like for some reason it offsets it when you're looking at it uh, when you're editing it and you're logged into the Google site it makes it I don't know why they did it but it looks offset so, so if you want the real background like like it's gonna turn out you go to the background wrapper and I go to desktop where I put my background. Okay, let's see how this works out. Pretty good. Seems like I have a little pixel there that I didn't go all the way through with and that I want my horizontal position to be the center, position top of course. So I need to add another pixel down there. So it's not exactly 25 pixels I guess, it's 26 with the links option. So let me go back and zoom in real close and I'm going to uh, take the last color of the gradient that I had gotten and just add another uh, add one more pixel of a line if you uh, hold shift and then press control it will uh, let you make a straight line on GIMP. So that was what I just did. I just made like a bottom pixel, another pixel to, uh, at the bottom of that uh, navigation bar. Okay, so I'm going to save that now. Again, exporting it. Uh, okay, then I'm going to re-upload that background since I this one was messed up. Okay, and notice that fits kind of that fits perfectly. So it was 26 pi pixels. Sorry if I gave you the wrong impression there in a in an earlier post, but I guess that was 26. I don't want it to repeat because that would look weird. 
having Numbs Bakery like you know down farther on the website, and uh, that's what I needed to do. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the very bottom here to horizontal navigation, uh, the background color. I'm gonna make it none so that that's transparent. There you go. So that looks a little that looks pretty neat. I'm gonna save those changes and voila uh, Nums Bakery with the little fancy reflection here with the integrated navigation bar that uses that transparency to let you see your background and hmm I don't know I'm probably gonna make more improvements to this later and probably do another you know post about it because I can't do all the graphics at once it, kind of time consuming. You'll find it's the most time consuming of any of your activities with Google Sites is is the graphic design because you have to work around the parameters uh, that Google Sites gives you. Um, okay, so I'm just going to cut it there. Um, well, maybe I should really quickly make a uh, make a favicon for my for my site. So I'm going to go back to my go back to my graphic here that I made and I'm going to just highlight the N of NUMS and uh, zoom in on that as much as possible um, I'm going to copy that how big is that box anyway? what does it say down there at the bottom? 35 by, s by 50 okay so I'll make it like 50 by 50. Uh, new. I'll make it 50 by 50. Canvas. Okay. Uh, I made my background color with this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Fill that with white. Thank you. I'm going to zoom in to work with it. Paste. There we go. I got my end in the exact middle. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay, um, I don't really think I'm going to do anything else to that. It's, you know, pretty simple. Uh, well, maybe I got an idea. Okay, so I'll highlight this square, the exact uh, pixel, uh, the exact canvas, and I'm going to round the corners like that. And I'm going to go to edit or no, I select, I'm going to invert and I'm going to delete what's around it that didn't work, did it? what happens if I erase? no, erase does the same thing oh, this is where I had problems I think it has to do with like the alpha layer let's see here, alpha create alpha layer, add alpha channel oh, there we go Okay, so I have to add that alpha channel, and then you erase your area of the rounded corners around it. And then I'm going to just select off, and there's my icon. Uh, I'm going to save that as favicon.ico. I-C-O. I'm going to say that on my desktop once again, and... Uh, Let's see, I hit save, and what happens to ask you about this? I choose the maximum option because I want max revolution of resolution of my icon. Okay, so now I go back to my Nums Bakery site. I go to, sorry about that thing down there. Go away. Okay, go to manage site. I go to, <coughs> let's see, I go to attachments. I go to upload. I go to browse, I go to my favicon, and I'm uploading that. Mm, that's all you have to do, it's now uploaded onto the site. I say return to site, and great, there's my icon for Nums Baked Goods. Sweet. Uh, you know, probably later I'll put in some more graphics just to fill in this white space, like phone number, perhaps, and, uh, you know, some... Uh, you know, a little banner going on the side here that says, like, the best vegan baked goods in town. <laughs> Anything like that. Okay. 
Well, I kind of just walked you through a lot there. Um, just take those tips into account, and I think you can make an, a nice-looking website with Google Sites. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.